even though we're in a global pandemic, um, it shouldn't stop us from raising money for childhood cancer because that never goes away. When Alexa Moore was just three years old, she was diagnosed with a rare kidney cancer. Make it, I'm gonna make it. That's right, baby. The first actual St. Paul Jigs event that I attended was when I was in treatment um, and my mom's school. At that time, we weren't sure that Alexa would make it. So we know that she's a true miracle and seeing her get up on stage with that courageous heart and smile. If you are wondering what St. Baldrick's is, it's a foundation that not only raises awareness for pediatric cancer, all the funds donated to this awesome founda foundation go directly to finding a cure. The Moore family rallied their resources to support the search for a cure. And I was a guest speaker at most of her events until I was about 13. And then when I was in ninth grade, with my middle school and my student government, we made a St. Baldrick's event at my middle school. The St. Baldrick's organization chooses five ambassadors to represent the thousands of children whose lives have been impacted by childhood cancer. This year, they chose Alexa. I stand before you here a stronger person because of what I went through with a new appreciation for life. We know that we're one of the lucky ones to have our daughter because they do such great work for pediatric cancer. You know, with this um, charity, uh, St. Baldrick's, for over 10 years now. They, they have to be well into the six figures now in terms of the impact that they've had for this, for this cause. I had so much support that kept me optimistic and kept me going that I want to keep doing that. I want to give back and do that for the kids that are fighting now. And now Alexa is planning a virtual event for this year. In Stony Brook, Elizabeth Hashagan, News 12, Long Island.